How's it going, everyone? It's FXK here. I figured I should start uploading on this channel because I don't do that, and it's opposite day, so congratulations. Happy holidays. I also haven't uploaded on my main channel in a little bit, mainly because every time I do, my views inspire me to check Walmart for the latest selection of high-quality ropes and ceiling fans. But something stupid is happening, so I want to talk about it here. Everyone knows Dream. He's kind of an enigma of content creators. I mean, we've never truly had a content creator like Dream. Dream is really good at being made fun of. He's kind of like if the United Kingdom was a person. Obviously, everyone knows about his face reveal and how horribly that went for him. <laughs> but even pre-face reveal, he was super controversial and was constantly getting shit on by people. Being called out for doing Native American war cries. He was called out for essentially definitively cheating in a Minecraft speedrun. And of course, my personal favorite, the Cool Kids Club MLG edit he did when he was a teenager. Personally, I don't really care about any of this stuff, mainly because I lost my virginity like nine years ago. But some people still do. However, despite the lack of care I have for these issues, it's pretty remarkable how Dream manages to miss every single skill check imaginable when dealing with these issues. Issues. And now it's kind of at the point where if Dream does anything at all, he's going to get made fun of. Which, to be honest, I, I kind of feel bad for him, but also... I don't, so I should probably figure that part out. Regardless, why am I talking about this specimen? Well, you may recall Dream got accused of being a dog groomer. And to be honest, I feel like the allegations were kind of a nothing burger. I don't really remember the exact details, nor can I be fucked to look back into them, so just take my word for it, I guess. Or don't, because it doesn't matter to me. I already got your view, so. But the allegations weren't a nothing burger because they were false, necessarily. I can't really say either way. And that's the problem. It's just so convoluted with all these stories and... Look, I, I, I got a lot of clout covering allegation stuff on my main channel, so I think I have some merit in saying that these allegations are really hard to take a position on. A lot of it is just like he said, she said. Most of the evidence is not really like proof. It's just like, hey, I talked to this person or there was some kind of conversation here. But a lot of like the finer and more important details are pretty hard to come across. And trust me, I want to call Dream a pedophile as much as the next guy, but it kind of seems irresponsible. So I'm going to take a business decision and not do that. Regardless, all of this shit just got dragged back up recently because God is dead. So now I have to sit through all this bullshit and read all these stupid tweets from these 14 year old losers who either watch Dream or hate Dream. I mean, they're pretty much the same phenotype of human, if I'm being honest, they're both fucking losers. You may be asking why I'm even making a video about it. Well, you'll see. Pretty much this person posted this clip of Dream out of context. First of all, I didn't know she was a minor because she had a something about her graduating high school in her bio on Instagram. And on top of that, um, it doesn't matter that she was a minor. Like Snapchat's a messaging platform. Now I know this clip, it sounds kind of bad. And that's mainly because like a hop, skip and a jump's worth of time is not enough to get the full picture on literally anything. Like you can definitely put this in the context where it sounds really bad, but it also sounds like he's saying it doesn't matter because they were just sending messages. Like, I feel like I need a bit more context to fully like grasp and take a position on that. I mean, I don't know, maybe this is a smoking gun in some sense, uh, but I'm not really concerned about that. Cause like I said, both sides of this debacle have consistently failed to convince me of yeah, pretty much anything. But regardless, Dream would respond with a schizo post, as he typically does when random 12 year olds make fun of him. To sum this whole rambling up, he pretty much is just like, no, this is bullshit. There's more context, and I'm gonna make a massive video debunking all of this. Which, you know, now that I think about it, why the f didn't he do this already? Like, why tweet about it? Make a f video. Like, it would be so much more digestible and easier for, like, everyone involved, including you. Because this show was obviously not resolved here. I mean, we are talking about Twitter for f sakes. And when Dream's involved, it's like, you know, an enchanted Skyrim ring that grants 100% extra retardation <gasps> points. Lots of random people on Twitter were, you know, just sh flinging. I don't care about this. I don't think any regular person would give a f about any of that. But then Dream posted this TikTok of, uh, of him with a shirt that says, I love minors, which, by the way, that shirt goes hard as f Fuck, I, I would wear that shit with pride. But obviously, people got mad at him for this because he's, like, being disrespectful. Which I guess makes sense, but also, if I was in his position, I'd probably troll the fuck out of these people, too. Under the assumption that he is innocent, of course. If he's guilty, then him making this joke is, like, the most self-sabotaging move possible. Which, now that I think about it, is very on-brand for Dream. Oh, yeah, speaking of on-brand, Dream needs to shut the fuck up. I've learned very early on in my internet career that clapping back at people only gets you in more shit. Which is why I've temporarily retired from Twitter, because everyone on there is a fucking moron and I can't bite my tongue. But Jesus Dream, you've been doing this for so long. Just stop. How have you not learned that engaging with these people is a terrible idea? My advice probably doesn't mean much. Like, I'm, I'm not a huge content creator by any means. But if you want to be a content creator, do not respond to any negative comments. Trust me, none of them. Don't do it. Even if they're fucking lying about you, they have nothing to lose and you have nothing to gain. There is no point engaging with these people. Anyways, Dream was able to stay quiet for a little while. And by a little while, I mean three days so now we bring a new character into the dream cinematic universe gumball 
Bruh. The voice actor for Gumball started Chirping Dream, which, you know, like, I mean, my expectations are f but that's just, yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. So there's this parody account called Dream Was Talon, which is, you know, it essentially tries to pretend to be Dream and bait people. To be honest, it, it got me at first, I'm not gonna lie. This account posted a selfie and said, who want me? And in response, Gumball's voice actor, Nicholas Cantu, responded by saying, I want you dead. What a fantastic entrance to the Dream Cinematic Universe, to be honest. He is easily already my favorite character, which, to be fair, isn't saying much. I mean, everyone who hangs out with Dream is like, is just like the fucking worst person ever. But honestly, this is probably the most rational and agreeable take I've ever heard from anyone in his orbit. Anyways, the parody account makes a joke about blocking him because he's 20 and he's like too old. He's like calling him a, a, a dog groomer. And then Nick says this, bro, when you an actual file, you can't joke about being a file. Once again, I can't comment on this. I have no clue if that's true, but it, it doesn't matter because the real Dream would respond. I'm not going to go through like this whole thing because Dream loves whining about everything, so I, I don't really give a f But he basically says like, I'm not a bad guy. You're the bad guy. He then accuses him of like physically assaulting him, using slurs, verbally harassing an Uber driver. He even points out the use of the dreaded R slur. First off, Dream, I, I don't want you policing anybody on their slur usage, okay? You made a fucking Cool Kids Club MLG edit. Now, did I find that video insanely funny? Yeah, kinda. I mean, it's stale, but it's charming. But don't don't piss where you eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm telling you to shut the fuck up. But also, Dream, didn't you defend the usage of the R slur not long ago? I understand that people change and like their minds change and they get older and they mature. Like, I think that's a good thing. But I don't like the fact that you're morally policing people for shit that you did that got blown way out of proportion. It kind of feels like Dream is desperately trying to shift negative criticism away from himself. Which, spoiler alert, it's not working too well. But also, you're alleging he physically assaulted you without proof like aren't people alleging things of you without sufficient evidence too like am i supposed to feel bad for you I, because i don't anyways there's a lot of back and forth with all of these like different people saying things with no evidence i don't care about that once again like nobody really says anything to convince me to have like a strong emotion towards like any of the subjects discussed here i just want to get to the meat and potatoes okay the good stuff so dream would obviously attempt to substantiate these claims i mean like half of them i think the biggest allegations here is like the use of the n-word and of course like physically assaulting him both of these things are not proven but honestly this is one of the funniest videos i've seen all year like it's up there with dracula flows okay so this video starts off with Nicholas, Gumball's voice actor, in the front passenger seat. The Uber driver is obviously driving, and Dream is in the back seat. Some further context, uh, this was the night they met, by the way, and he had just assaulted him. Why the f*** you got into an Uber with a person that you just met and uh, also assaulted you is beyond me? But I'm glad he did it because this was hilarious. Also, this happened like two months ago, so yeah. Anyway, let's watch. The video starts off with Nicholas and the driver like having an argument. It's kind of just worthless rambling, so I'll skim through it, but he he is definitely being very rude to the Uber driver. And, and the and the guy is like very patient. He's being reasonable. I, I feel bad for him. He definitely doesn't deserve that. But then Nicholas says this. I want to tell you right now, you are Australopithecus Cro-Magnon rock stupid. You're retarded. You're fucking down to your own Okay, so I gotta admit, that's pretty funny. I kind of wish, like, he had said it to Dream instead, because, like, yeah, I, like I said, the driver doesn't deserve this shit. What, what the fuck does that, what does that mean? I, I have never heard that phrase before, and I have no clue what that means. It's very rare that you hear an insult that is truly, you know, one of a kind. I'm, I'm gonna have to put that in my toolkit moving forward. When the bites come, or the ants come at me, it'll take 10,000, 100,000 of them to take me down. So that's how minuscule you are to my size, right? My stature of intelligence, character, body, and, um, reverence in the world okay okay so if it's not obvious at this point this guy is having a mental breakdown he is not well in the head not only is he definitely intoxicated he he's reading like a hundred on my manic radar right now but i also don't like the idea of one clip of somebody potentially being in a very altered state of mind like being a good indicator for their character that just seems like really shitty. i would hope if i ever had a psychotic breakdown that people would have some good faith towards me and understand that like maybe things i say or do isn't entirely reflective of who i am i'm not saying that what he's doing is okay because of that i'm just saying like maybe we should like understand the person that he is it may like may not be reflective of that dream says you should never treat anyone like that regardless of the circumstance and i agree but like i, I also think that like considering that there's signs of like pure saturated psychosis mixed with like alcohol and cocaine Maybe this isn't like the only side to dear old Nicholas here. Let's continue. K okay, is better for this dude who doesn't want to give away his millions. Are you Jewish? Well, Nicholas, I can promise you right now, you will never work in Hollywood again. I've seen people's careers survive lots of controversy. Making fun of Jewish people typically isn't one of them. Maybe you should start investing or something. No, man, because I'm going to do movies, stand-up comedy, everything, all the shit. That's Music, fine. whatever the fuck, e-commerce. 
you don't understand that you're talking to like a Michelangelo of my time. Yeah, so this is is what we call delusions of grandeur right here. This is a very prominent characteristic of someone who is manic. Also, I saw a tweet from Nicholas claiming he was manic in the past. So yeah, it's pretty clear that he certainly is here. Like, obviously, he's not Michelangelo. He, he, he voice acted in fuck the amazing world of Gumball and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like, I'm gonna say it again. Being manic does not excuse you from doing bad things. But I also don't think like a snapshot of a person in a really dark moment while they're manic is a good indicator of the person that they are deep down. And I don't think anyone in real life would either. I'm a genius, Albert Einstein level history bookmaker. You're gonna be forgotten like the dust in the sand when you're in the fucking Sahara and there's hundred million, thousand billion fucking sand particles. You're gonna be one of those and I'm gonna be a statue erected in gold. Now, aside from how sad the situation is, this kid is fucking based. The fact that he's like looking dream in the eyes and, and pretty much calling him a loser is an experience I'm sure we'd all love to have. I also just love the grand scope of the picture he's painting. Like he has such a way with words here. I am rooting for that to happen. I, I want you to have that statue, Nicholas. I, I am ADHD. like this because uh, ADHD, autism, neurodivergent. I, I have ADHD as well. Right, but because you said that's what the mask is, I think you're a Okay, so this was the moment where Nicholas won everyone over, like literally everyone, including me, by the way. This video is fucking art. The fact that there is a video that exists of somebody calling Dream a fuck it to his face, it makes me have hope for the world. And the cherry on the Sunday is is him threatening to murder Dream. It's not gonna make it a fucking like brutal marauder. It's, I'm not gonna be a brutal marauder. I'm gonna like literally like either you're gonna be paralyzed, or you're gonna be dead. Like I'm serious. Okay, man. God bless you, Nicholas. I hope you're well. I mean, you should probably go to a hospital, but yeah, I, I, I hope you're good. And I hope that Uber driver was tipped handsomely. Anyways, this drama went as well as you would expect it to. Everyone is shitting on Dream for this. I swear, I, I do kind of feel bad for him. Like I said, he really can't seem to catch a break, but also he does seem to really suck, so I don't know. And I like making fun of him, so I'm gonna probably keep doing it. People are mad at him for, you know, sitting on this video for two months and you know, sitting on it and only using it when it's convenient for him, which I think is a valid criticism. People are also mad at him for drinking with somebody who's under the legal age to drink, which I mean, I don't think anyone honestly cares. I was getting drunk with my friends when I was like 17 years old. I just think the video is funny and I wanted to talk about it. As far as the drama, I don't give a shit and I don't think anyone should. It's, it's fucking stupid. It's literally a bunch of terminally online children trolling Dream and then Dream responding. Dream, if you're watching this, I know you're not, but if you are, just please shut the fuck up. No one engaging in good faith believes the things that are being said about you because none of them have convincing evidence. The only people who believe it are brain dead morons who will never be convinced otherwise. So stop trying to fucking convince them. Just make the video. Like, look at how well it worked for like Quite, for example. I don't know why you haven't done it like years ago, but please just stay off Twitter, make your fucking video, and just like, just maybe just shut the up forever. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I'm gonna try to upload here more frequently, and main channel videos are coming back soon, I promise. I stream on this channel most nights, so, you know, turn on notifications, check out a stream. Also, make sure you like the video. I'm, tr I'm trying to get this video monetized, so any engagement helps. Also, check out my Patreon and my merch linked below, but that's about it, so take care, guys.